Shout out to my friend and colleague, Dixie Latchley, who introduced me to Napkin AI. With Napkin AI, you can enter in your text or enter a prompt, and it will create visuals for you based on what you've entered. So how it works, like I said, you start by pasting in a block of text. There will be a blue thunderbolt that pops up, and it'll create a bunch of styles for you. Pick the style you like, and then you can do customizations, the icons, the decorators. Like fun bubbles around your text and even the way the text is connected to each other. Change the font, change the colors. And then you can download that as a PNG, a PDF, an SVG. Uh, grab a URL to it, put that in a slide deck and instant visuals, which I'm loving as an in instructional designer because I spend a lot of time trying to look at block of text and say, OK, what's a creative graphic to go with it? So. Pricing, when you click on this pricing tab right here. I'm actually going to jump to the middle during their beta testing, which they are right now. They're giving the professional plan away for free, which is unlimited napkins. And I'm sure once that beta testing is over, we're going to revert to the starter plan, which is three napkins for free. And there's a note down here that says, you know, once they're out of beta, they promise not to put your information behind a paywall and they'll have some type of special deal for longtime followers. So let's get signed in and show you how to make a napkin. In the upper left hand corner up here, you have this new napkin button. And like I said, you can draft with AI or just get a blank sheet of paper and drop in your text. I'm going to draft with AI. I'm going to put in a prompt here that I want to create a call for proposals for a conference that we have coming up. Why don't you create the level of sponsorships and outline the benefits? Click enter because then later I'm going to put this into a really nice maybe website or a document to hand to potential vendors. All right, so what, as anything with AI, you want to take it, review it, you can edit this. But if I loved this, what it said about gold sponsorship, click on the thunderbolt, lightning bolt. Got some blue wobbly bits hanging here, happening here. All right, let's look at the styles that it generated. Option one, option two, option three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. I mean, a timeline. Just loving AI as a thought partner for how I can more visually represent this information. Oh, super cute. And then you can always generate more if you're not seeing something that you like. So saying that I like this one, what can I do with it? If I didn't like this justice emblem, I could click the thunderbolt again and maybe get a ticket. That's a little better. Maybe I don't like this black. I want it to be purple. Click on the paint palette, purple. This text right here. Maybe I don't like Roboto. Maybe I'm an Arial kind of girl. Maybe I want it bold. Adjust the size of the font. Small, medium, large, extra large. The alignment. Maybe I want it in purple. Maybe I want a cloud around it instead of a square. And then if you like it, you're ready. You can download just that section right there. All right. Keep going around. Keep playing with things and customizing it down here. You can also add your own images to your napkin. There's a pen if you want to sketch and doodle. And then it'll turn those into smooth lines. So that's cool. If you want to add extra labels, add your own text, you can do that. 
as a whole, if I wanted to change the background of this, I could do that here with these options here in the upper right. Aspect ratio, maybe I'm doing this on a PowerPoint slide. I need 16 by nine, but maybe I'm doing this on an Instagram. Love the options. When you're ready to export, ping, SVG or PDF ping, you can turn that background color off so you really have that transparent look for wherever you're gonna put this next. Adjust the resolution, so much you can do. So again, it, it's probably definitely gonna be a tool in my arsenal for helping me find quick ways to organize content. Thanks for watching.